I will never fear The Lord is always with me And I will never fear With Him I take my stand The lion may grow weak The lion may go hungry But I will never fear He guides me in His hands I will never fear The Lord is always with me And I will never fear With Him I take my stand The lion may go weak The lion may go hungry But I will never fear Guides me in his hands. Unisha Ianu, you're the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your power. Unisha Ianu. You have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Touch the like button and share the video. As you come in, touch the like button and share the video. God bless you. Onisha Iyanu, you're the God of awesome wonders. I've tasted of your power. Onisha Iyanu, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Onisha Iyanu, you're the God of awesome wonders. Thank you, Lord. I've tasted of your powers. Onisha, Ianu, you have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Father, we thank you. We worship you, ancient of days. We bless your name, Jesus. La kosha talibra handeko zina namashada balatai. We give you all the praise, Jesus. We worship you, ancient of days. Adonai ya nako palatai na elebrehende zokon talibra hande. We are here for you. Come and do what you do, Lord. We are here in your presence. Come and do what you do. We are here for you, Jesus. Zika talababa basha na latai ele rokonza manta. We worship you, King of the universe, the great monarch of the universe, the I am that I am, the bride and the morning star, the ancient of days. We worship you, the great and the mighty God. We give you all the praise, Jesus. You are you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be lifted. We lift you high above every other circumstance. We lift you high above life's challenges. We lift you high. Mana koda ba leke nene mozi kada ba hai. Ele koto lobro hondo kozi balana na mashataina. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Zika tala ba hande. Ele koto lodo bo zira na na mashatai. Mande de 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 bo shi kata la braha. Zokonto libra hande de de bo siya da da ba hai. We worship you. 
We bless your name, Lord Jesus. This is an extraordinary live session. This is not a normal time I come on live, but I felt pushed in my spirit. I felt pushed in my spirit. I tried resisting coming live at this hour, but I felt the push. I don't know why God is sending me live at this hour. I don't know for who he is sending me live at this hour, but I pray that just the right people get to meet this live session or watch this video even after now. If you are here, it is by the grace of God. God has chosen you to be a partaker here. And my prayer for you is that he will not pass you by. God will not pass you by whatsoever he wants to deposit in your life into this life session you will not miss it in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God for a few moments I just want you in your own words to worship God you know I cannot worship God for you right I can pray for you I can intercede for you but worshiping God is what you you have to do it by yourself that Jesus speaking he says God is, um, is, is looking for true worshipers those who are going to worship in spirit and in truth because I do not know your spirit and, and I'm not in your life I don't know that your the, the truth that God has revealed to you I cannot worship God for you just go ahead in two minutes and just begin to worship the name of the Lord thank God for what you know that he has done for who he is to you just go ahead and begin to bless the name of the Lord the one who lifts up my head when people say there is a casting down i can say there is a lifting up because god is the one that is lifting me up he is my sustainer. You are my sustainer. You are my redeemer. You are the one who lifts me up when I am down. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You pick me on the mary clay and you set my feet upon the rock to stay. You are my God. You are my God. You are God. You are God. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens my doors. You are the shepherd of my soul. The bush that burneth but never consumes. What shall I render to you, O oh God? I will bow down and worship your name. You are God, oh, you are God, you are God. You are the eyes I used to see. You are the key that opens my doors. You are the shepherd of my soul. The bush that burneth but never consumes. What shall I render to you, O oh God? I will bow down and worship your name. You are God. You are the pillar of cloud by the day and the pillar of fire by the night. I can never understand you. You are a miracle, God. You are a pillar of cloud by the day and the pillar of fire by the night. I can never understand you. You are a miracle, God. God is leading someone today out of very troubled times. God is leading someone today. God is leading. The unexpected is about to happen. The unexpected is about to happen the unexpected is about to happen father we thank you for your presence in this live session your word says where two or three are gathered in your name you are in their midst that is our assurance that is the guarantee we have that you are here that is our assurance that is the guarantee we have that you are here we thank you lord for your presence come and do what no man can do oh lord come and do what no man can do come and touch lives here today come and touch lives here 
here today. Father, let the unexpected begin to happen to everyone that is connected in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the unexpected, what they never expected, they begin to happen in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the unexpected begin to happen in the life of someone today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are all welcome, family. God bless you all. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. I am excited to have each and every one of you here today. God bless all our first timers. I see a couple of first timers. God bless you. I am happy to have you all. Please touch the like button. If you're yet to do that, why not go ahead and share on your timeline, share on your status. Be the reason why someone joins this life prayers. Hallelujah. Be the reason why someone joined this life prayers. But first things first, start by you yourself touching the like button. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Like I said in the beginning, I felt pressed. I felt I felt pushed by God. As a matter of fact, I was giving up even when I had already set the live session. Because since I came back from church, I have been up. I have not slept. So um, this is like 2 a.m. in Cameroon, 2 a.m. Cameroon time. And I have not slept, you know. Normally, I would sleep and wake up, prepare for my live session. But I have not slept all through the night. And I was led to set this live, live session at 2 a.m. But when it got to 2 a.m., I felt like, no, I should just go and sleep and wake up. And maybe one hour later or two hours, just time enough for my live session. But I just felt the spirit pushing me to attend to to have this live session right now and i know it's for someone special hallelujah glory to god i don't feel your excitement i don't feel like people are happy to be here today i don't feel like you are you you count it a privilege it's always a, a privilege to be in the presence of the lord is never a right it's always a privilege but one thing i know for certain that god has said and that will surely come to pass is that the unexpected is about to happen in your life the unexpected what you did not expect what you did not expect is about to happen in the mighty name of jesus what you did not expect is about to happen in the mighty name of jesus strangely i have never ministered from this book of the bible i have never ministered but the lord led me there today the lord led me in led me to the book of jonah chapter 2 but funny enough he led me to the prayer of jonah and i was like god why why do we have to pray from the from the story of Jonah? He gave me seven things that I want all of us to see. Seven reasons why we have to pray. The prayer that Jonah prayed while he was in the fish's belly. The first one is that each and every one of us here, there is something that God has told you to do and you have not done it. You cannot, there is nobody that would say, no, I have done everything God has asked me to. There are certain things that God will tell you to do and for one reason or the other, you would disobey. It might, I mean, I mean, the most minute thing, but each and every one of us, there are things that God has told us to do and we did not do. God told us, God gave us an instruction. The first thing is that God has given you an instruction and that you did not follow that instruction. No, the first thing is God has given you an instruction. The second thing is that you did not follow the instruction God get, gave to you. What he commanded you to do, you did not do it. The third one is that, we, we decide we are not going to listen to God. You know, the, you know, it's easy. Let me give an example that all of us will understand. Most of us, we battle with this. I inclusive. When God tells you to plant a prophetic seed in the life of someone, if the amount is very huge, you always it's always difficult to do it. Or maybe you are in a point where, not that the amount is huge, but you, you are in a point where you do not have enough. And God is in printing in your heart is telling you to plant that seed but you feel like you cannot do this you ask yourself how am i going to cope how am i going to you know survive yes those are one of the instances where god would tell you to do something and you refuse you shut your ears from god the voice of god you say like god i don't want to hear i don't want to hear i have been there myself there are instructions that god has given me and i'm like god i'm not listening to you right now i'm not each and every one of us has been there and whatever happens is that when things like this happen, God makes a crisis to hit us. God will cause a crisis to hit you that will, that will remind you of the instruction God gave you. God will cause a crisis to hit you that will remind you of the instruction that God gave you. The crisis is going to torment you. That will make you to cry out to God. 
When God gives you an instruction and you disobey, he's going to permit a kind of crisis to hit you that will make you cry out to God. And at the end of the day, God will restore you to the right path. God will restore you to the right path. Each and every one of us has suffered from disobedience. Each and every one of us has suffered from disobedience. When we hear about the story of Jonah, it's very easy to go ahead and begin to judge Jonah. Like, why did you not do it? And 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 the question that I always say that I, when, whenever I want to judge Jonah, like, why did you not do what God asked you to do? I always remember for myself that there are things God has told me to do that I have battled with it. But Jonah repented in the fish's belly so many of us even when you are you are in disobedience it is you, you you still cannot you still justify why you did what you did you still justify why, why you did what you did and you do not even repent from it jonah prayed a very touching prayer that i would want us to see before we we get into um the prophetic prayers that god has laid in my heart to pray for you the prayer of jonah jonah chapter 2 from verse 1, then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the stomach of the fish and said, I called out of my trouble and distress to the Lord, and he answered me. Out of the belly of Sheol I cried for help, and you heard my voice, for you cast me into the deep, into the deep, into, into the deep heart of the sea, and the current surrounded and engulfed me. All your breakers and billowing waves passed over me. Then I said, I have been cast out of your sight. Nevertheless, I will look again towards your holy temple. I will look again towards your holy temple. The water surrounded me to the point of death. The great deep engulfed me. Suit was wrapped around my head. I descended to the very roots of the mountains. The earth with it's bars close behind me, bolting me in forever. Yet you have brought me up. You have brought me up my life from the pit. Oh my God, when my soul was fainting within me, I remembered the Lord and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. Those who regard and follow worthless idols turn away from their living source of mercy and loving kindness. But as for me, I will sacrifice to you with the voice of thanksgiving. I shall pay that which I have vowed. Salvation is from the Lord. This is Jonah making a prayer in the fish's belly. After an act of disobedience. This is him. One thing that I learned from the story of Jonah is that Jonah knew God is near. It doesn't matter what you have done, child of God. It doesn't matter the disobedience that you have made. It doesn't matter the disobedience you have made. You just have to know that God is near. Yes, you disobeyed, but God has not abandoned you. Yes, you did disobey, but God is not letting you go. Jonah knew that God was near. He knew that God was near. He called from, he, you know, God is not in a specific location. He called, he called God in the fish's belly and God heard him. He prayed in the fish's belly and God heard him. Jonah knew God. I don't know in what dark circumstance you have found yourself. Because some of us, we are in a kind of crisis that is sponsored by a, an act of disobedience. We are in a kind of crisis that is sponsored by an act of disobedience. And while you are in that crisis, God... God can still hear you. God is still near to you. If only you are going to call upon the name of the Lord in that dark place in your life, in that place where you feel like I deserve what is happening to me. Because Jonah knew he deserved what was happening to me. He, to him, he had disobeyed. But he knew that God was near and he called upon the name of the Lord even in that dark situation. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Even as you call upon the name of the Lord in your 
distress, God will hear you and answer you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will hear you and answer you. Even as you call upon him in that place, in that place where you have disobeyed, in that place of distress, in that place where you feel like you have been forgotten, God will answer, God will hear you and answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will hear you and answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will hear you and answer you. In the mighty name of Jesus, one more thing I learned from the story of Jonah is that he believed God is a God of restoration. Jonah believed that God is the, a God that can still restore you. It doesn't matter how bad things have been. God can still restore you. God can still restore you. That is why in, in, in verse 7, he says that when my soul is fainting within me, I remember the Lord and my prayer came to you into your holy temple. When my when my soul is fainting. Ayano Bashatai. Jonah knew that he served a God that can restore. That can restore. It doesn't matter how th much things have depreciated. Your God is a God that can restore you. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The same God that restored Jonah. The same God that showed him mercy even when he had disobeyed. May he show up for you today and restore you in the mighty name of Jesus. Some of us, we are suffering from heartbreaks and heartaches because of stupid decisions we made. You left that relationship and right now you are regretting. You did something wrong. You blundered and you were fired. But we serve a God that can restore. We serve a God that can restore. This prayer session today is for people who in one way or the other, God has given you an instruction and you did not follow it to the latter. God gave you an instruction and you felt like it was very difficult to do it and you did not do it. God said it's time for you to move but you stayed back because you did not see the finances. You did not, you wanted him to show you every possibility that there, that there is before you make a move. Unlike uh, unlike a uh, uh, um, Unlike Abraham, he just decided to follow God blindly, but God has told you to move. You decided to still stay wherever you are because you wanted God to show you every provision he is making. I don't know what you, ha what you have disobeyed God concerning. I don't know, maybe you got into a marriage that God did not want you to be there. And right now that marriage has become hell for you. God is our God who restores. God is a God who restores and he is bringing restoration on your way today in one way or the other in the mighty name of Jesus. God is bringing restoration to you today. God is restoring you by his mercy. He is restoring you by his mercy. He is restoring you by his mercy. God is restoring you by his mercy. God is a God of hope. As long as you are alive, you should always have hope that God reigns. One of my best scriptures in the Bible is that there is more hope for a living dog than a dead lion. There is more hope for a living dog than a dead lion. Even a tree that has been cut down can still flourish again. Even a tree that has been cut down can still shoot, can, can still sprout and receive new life. I don't know where you are right now. I don't know in what state of this obedience you have found yourself but God is a God of hope as long as you are alive God can still change your story as long as you are alive God did not permit you to die when you disobeyed him because he wants to give you another opportunity God did not kill you when you disobeyed him because he wants to give you another opportunity it was easy for God to just take away the life of Jonah in that turbulence it was easy for God to just take away the life of Jonah when he was thrown into the sea. But God created a kind of mechanism. So maybe the crisis you are going through, you know, God created, for, for Jonah, it was a shark. He was swallowed into the belly of a shark and he stayed there for three days. He did not eat for three days. All he had time to do was to repent and to seek the face of God. God has thrown you into a situation that is a kind of a crisis. Right now, maybe you are in a kind of crisis.
arises that has been sponsored by an act of disobedience. It is by the mercy of God that he has passed, that he is passing you through that crisis. It is by the mercy of God because it is through that crisis that you are going to, you are going to realize how much wrong you have done and that you're going to seek the face of God for his restoration. You will seek the face of God for his restoration. You will seek the face of God for his restoration. If crisis does, does not hit you hard, you are going to, you will not know that what you did was wrong. You will not know that you went out of line. But I pray for somebody. I pray for you. God is giving you new hope in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you new hope, new hope in the mighty name of Jesus. God is giving you new hope and he is giving you another opportunity to make things right. God is giving you another opportunity to make things right in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you the same way that the shark vomited Jonah on dry land that situation that you have been stuck in it is vomiting you today in the mighty name of jesus dry land symbolizes a place of possibilities dry land symbolizes a place of restoration dry land symbolizes a place where god gave him another opportunity god is about to give you another opportunity to make your life better god is about to give you another opportunity to make your life better i pray every situation that has and closed you because of an act of disobedience as we pray right now that situation is vomiting you in the mighty name of jesus it is vomiting you in the mighty name of jesus wherever you have been trapped because of an act of disobedience i pray for you in the name of jesus i pray for you in the name of jesus let that situation begin to vomit you right now let that situation spit you out in the mighty name of jesus let that situation spit you out in the mighty name of Jesus. No longer will you be stuck in a bad relationship. No longer will your finances be dwindling. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is restoring someone today. God is restoring someone today. God is restoring someone today by his mercy. The same way he restored Jonah, God is restoring you today. He is showing you mercy. God will not permit that situation to see your end in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not die in distress. You will not die being lonely. You will not die in lack and want. You will not die in poverty. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. May God by his mercy, may God by his mercy give you new life. Give you new life. Give you new life. Give you another opportunity at life. Give you many any more possibilities in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus as many you know the shark spitting out a, 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 a Jonah was a mighty miracle it has never been done before there was no precedence it has never been done before that was one of its kind it, it means that was a miracle I pray for you somebody you are in a place of distress right now and you need a miracle and maybe sometimes you know they are accuser will always come and tell you the accuser will come and tell you you deserve what is happening to you you deserve what is happening to you it is because of this thing you did that what that that these misfortunes are coming your way but by the mercy of god he is restoring you in the mighty name of jesus by the mercy of God, there will be a miracle that will take you out of that situation. I don't know where I'm speaking to, but I'm confident that I am ministering to the person that needs to hear me right now. A mighty miracle will happen that will take you out of that situation in the mighty name of Jesus. God is going to perform a mighty miracle for you that will take you out of that situation in the name of Jesus. God will do a mighty miracle. Your deliverance is coming. Your deliverance is coming. Your deliverance is coming and a mighty miracle that will take you out of that 
pain, that will take you out of lack and want, that will take you out of distress. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Marakata, elemeneko zebra hande zakataina, marata ladaba shataya. I call for signs and wonders. I call for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, God is taking you out. God is taking you out. God is taking you out by his mercy, by his mercy by his mercy yes you did wrong yes you faltered yes you disobeyed yes you did not do it the exact way he told you to do it but by the mercy of god he is giving you another opportunity by the mercy of god he is restoring you again to a place where you can where you can make things right to a place where things can be made right I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. You know, when the Lord gave me this, this, these prophetic prayers, when the Lord led me to this place, he told me, Amel, there is no one, everybody has always been, everybody is a victim of this. I want you to pray for my people because everyone is a victim of disobedience. Everyone is a victim of the disobedience. And so many things that happened to us was as a result of our disobedience. The crisis that came our way, the heartache that came our way, the recession in finances that came is because of an act of disobedience. You, you our, we do not operate under the economy of the world. The world might be saying things are difficult, but our confession will be different because we are with God. But if you're experiencing the same thing the world is experiencing, probably you went wrong somewhere and God is letting that crisis get to you so that you can have a moment to think, so that you can have a moment to reflect, so you can have a moment to come back and say, Lord, I made a mistake here. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. And God is ready ready to restore. God is ready to restore you. God is ready to bless you again. God is ready to bless you again. God is ready to perform a miracle in your life. God delights in the prosperity of his children. God is happy whenever his children are prospering. There, there is no way your poverty glorifies God. There is no way your single wood glorifies God. There is no way your ill health glorifies God. And so God is not happy each time you are in lack, each time you are sick, each time you are depressed, God is not happy. But certain times he's going to permit it because of an act of disobedience and that he's trying to get you back to himself. But the Lord says I should pray in the name of Jesus. That, that, that complicated scenario you found yourself in, that difficult situation you found yourself in, that, is, that happened as a result of disobedience of any kind, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. May God deliver you and set you free. May God deliver you from that situation and set you free. May God deliver you from that situation and set you free. Just like he did for Jonah. Let him do it for you in the name of Jesus. Just like he did for Jonah. Let him do it for you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kadaba Baba Shatala Baha'i. Somebody, I see you receiving a new contract. As we are praying right now, I see you receiving a new contract. And God says that is his restoration. That is his restoration. That is his restoration. God is restoring you again. Another person, God is giving you a, 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 another opportunity with that relationship. God is giving you another opportunity with that relationship because you blundered. The reason why that relationship fell apart was because you blundered. But by the mercy of God, in this live session today, he says that he is making things to happen again for you. He is restoring. He is restoring. God is restoring. God is restoring. God is giving you another opportunity again in that relationship. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is restoring your health. God is restoring your ayakababa shatai. I just heard the Lord say this word for somebody. You have been believing God for the fruit of the womb. You have been believing God from, for the fruit of the womb. God says that there is about to be a blessing of a fruit of a womb. I see you carrying your baby. I see you carrying your baby. God is about to bless you with the fruit of his 
of the womb and that is your restoration and that is your restoration and that is your restoration hallelujah glory to god god is about to do a miracle for someone that you did not even expect god is about to do a miracle for someone that you did not even expect the unexpected is about to happen in your life the unexpected is about to happen in your life. The unexpected restoration is coming in an unexpected manner. Restoration is coming in an unexpected Expected manner. Restoration is coming in a way you did not expect. It is coming in a way that you did not expect. And it's going to come and it's going to be a restoration that will make you dance for joy. Come on. Come on. Who is receiving this prophetic word? Restoration is coming in an aspect of your life that you least expected. And it is coming to make you happy. It is coming from an angle you least expected. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I see an elevation. I see an elevation. I see an elevation. I see an elevation. I don't know who this is for, but I am praying for everyone under the sound of my voice. A prophetic word for one is a prophetic word for all. Let there be an elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Jonah speaking, he says, the water surrounded me to the point of death. To the point of that the great deep engulfed me. But God took him out. God took him out. God took him out. Maybe you find yourself in that position where you feel like you're suffocating. You are about to die. You find yourself in that position where you feel like life is choking you. Life is choking you. I have good news for you, child of God. I have good news for you. I have good news for you. There is about to be a restoration and it is coming unexpectedly in the mighty name of Jesus. It is coming from an angle that you least expected and it will make you super happy. It will make you so happy. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. The same God that that restored Jonah. Visit them today in the name of Jesus. Visit them with restoration and elevation. Let it be their testimony. Let it be their testimony. Let it be their testimony. Let it be their testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raka shabalatai. Elekonono zima namashapalatai. Receive your unexpected miracle. Receive your unexpected breakthrough. Receive your unexpected good news. You will surely dance for joy. You will surely celebrate for joy. You will surely dance for joy. You will surely celebrate because of what the Lord has done. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zakatana Mamashataya. Receive new hope. Receive new hope. Receive new hope. Receive new hope. God is good. Our God is always near. Our God is always near and he is ready to help. Our God is always near and he is ready to help. Our God is always near and he is ready to restore. Our God is always near and he's ready to give you another opportunity. Oh, Receive your unexpected miracle in the name of Jesus. Tongues wagging miracle. Tongues wagging miracle. I hear the Lord says it will start with you. I don't know what what it's what particularly or specifically he's saying he's talking about, but I, I just heard the Lord says it will start with you. 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 God says it will start with you. It will start with you. I don't know what that is, but I know it's something great. It will start with you in the mighty name of Jesus. It will start with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word that you have sent for today. We thank you, Lord, for your restoration anointing. We thank you, Lord, because you have not let those situations to swallow us and kill us permanently. 
Thank you, Lord, because the same way the great fish spitted out Jonah, those situations of distress are spitting us out in the name of Jesus. Depression is spitting us out in the name of Jesus. Financial hardship is spitting us out in the name of Jesus. Lack and want is spitting us out in the name of Jesus. A life of loneliness is spitting us out in the name of Jesus. A life of depression is spitting us out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, Adonai, the multi-breasted one. Thank you, Jehovah. Mananama shakata. Elekononono mo supalatai. Regonta lidadaba santa labrahai. We give you all the praise. Family, go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Go ahead and begin to thank the Lord. Those, those difficult situations are spitting you out. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord has said it. I believe it. Those difficult situations are spitting you out in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank the Lord, somebody. Thank the Lord, somebody. Thank the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As we round up the prayers, if you are led, you want to... If you're led, you want to give an offering, you want to plant a seed, you want to give a donation, or you want to pay your tithes to this ministry, I give you an opportunity to do that right now. You want to connect to the prophetic prayers, you want to connect to the prophetic words and the prophetic declarations, whatever the case may be, I give you an opportunity right now. Just go ahead and do that. If you want to use PayPal, Cash App, Mobile Money, the information has been pinned on your screen. But if you want to use the live stream that is... um. Um, super chat and super sticker is still okay. You can just go ahead and do that. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah, I depend on you, Jehovah, yeah. I depend on you, Jehovah, yeah. I depend on you, Jehovah, yeah. I depend on you, only you can do, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah, only you can do. What no man can do, Jehovah, only you are able. Daddy, only you are capable. Only you are able. Jesus, so oh, so you are capable. We thank you, Abba Father. If this is the first time you are joining our live session, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining. Please, if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, kindly touch the subscribe button. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. And if you are yet to give this video a thumbs up, this live um, um, this live video a thumbs up, please go ahead and touch the like button. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus. And please, if you are paying your tithe, always indicate this is my tithe so that you receive a tithe's prayer. There are covenants that are, that are attached to tithe's. You don't want to miss out on that. Thank you, Lord. Only you can do what no man can do. Only you can change what no man can change. Only you are able, only you are capable. We thank you, Abba Father. I feel, I feel, I feel fulfilled because I was able to pull through with this life session. I was able, you know, working with God, you've got to be flexible. When you are working with God, you have to be flexible because you can never put God in a box, you know. When God tells you do this at this time, you have to just obey and do it. Yes, this was an extraordinary life session, not our regular time. And I believe that God wanted it to be so for somebody, for somebody in particular, for someone in particular. And I believe that person is you and that you are receiving restoration. I don't know whatever it is that you are believing God for or whatever situation it is that God is taking you out of. 
but it is surely happening in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's pray for the giving. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people. Thank you, Lord, for everyone that has planted, that has given an offering on PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, Super Seeker. I pray that you bless their giving in the mighty name of Jesus. May their bands never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for a thousandfold return in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those who have planted seed, connecting to the prophetic prayers, I pray that God will honor your giving in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who have planted seed connecting to restoration i pray for you in the name of jesus let the god of restoration visit you and restore you in the mighty name of jesus those who are planting seeds connecting to god giving them a second chance i pray for you oh my goodness i feel the presence of the holy spirit in this life session i pray for you may god give you a second chance in the name of jesus those who are planting sacrificial seeds, I just saw somebody planted a seed and tempt it a sacrifice. Those who are planting sacrificial seeds, whatever you are connecting and believing God for, may the Lord answer you. May the Lord honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Whatever you are planting your seeds, believing God for, I join my faith with yours and I pray that God will honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. God will honor your faith in the mighty name of Jesus. And those who paid their tithes on PayPal and on Cash App, your tithes are blessed in the name of Jesus. I activate the covenant of a tither over your life. The Bible speaking, God speaking, he says, prove me that I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain. I pray for your tithes. May the Lord rebuke the devourer over your income and may he open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that your bands will not be able to contain in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are blessed of God. You are blessed of God. You are blessed of God. Let's take our daily declarations together. Our daily declaration is, the favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. I know a cross-section of my people are not here live, so you may not know what to do. But the daily declaration is, that is what we all say together. God told us that our confession would lead us to our possession. And so we confess this every time we are alive. So just repeat it after me and say, The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. The favor of the Lord is upon me. My hands and my feet are anointed for exploits. Hallelujah. Family, did you receive this word with gladness? Were you blessed by the prophetic prayers tonight and the message that God was sending to us? Were you blessed? Were you blessed by it? Were you blessed by the message tonight? I still see people planting seeds, connecting to restoration. I pray in the name of Jesus, may the Lord restore you. May the Lord restore you. May the Lord restore you in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people are connected to new hope. I pray, may the Lord give you new hope in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord give you new hope in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray those who are connected for a second chance, may the Lord give you a second chance in the mighty name of Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. God is good. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, his light will shine. God is good. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I love you, family. Thank you to everyone that joined the life prayers. 
I am waiting for your testimonies because I know I am certain that God is going to be give, giving us testimonies of restoration, new life, new hope. I don't know what you're believing God for, but I am, but I know I am certain that God will give us testimonies. Hallelujah. Testimonies of deliverance, how God delivered you from a very difficult situation. I do believe that God will give us testimonies in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, family. <clears throat> I love you. You are always my prayers. You are always my thoughts. I'm always waiting upon the Lord and believing him for you. I am always waiting upon the Lord and believing him for you. God will bless you continuously. God will bless you continuously. Hallelujah. God is good. I receive the read. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so sorry for those who are just joining right now. I know this is not a regular life time so i missed out but i was just acting based on an instruction that i received i acted based on an instruction you know working with god you've got to learn to be flexible i'm so sorry for those who are waiting for our special prayer time i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you can just go back and watch the live session and connect yourself the best way possible hallelujah god bless you god bless you so much god bless you please Endeavor to just go back and watch the live session and connect yourself and partake of the blessings. Hallelujah. I will see you in our next live session as God gives me grace. Bye-bye, everybody. Shalom, shalom. He put a song of praise.